Here we come. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Okay, I got a waypoint here. Cause last time I was out here, it got real foggy. Okay guys, Kel Kellogg here. We are out at Lake Comanche. Um, kind of between storms today, I'm out with an angler named Terry. He's in one of our uh, Hobie Lynx kayaks. He is pulling one of my white trigger minnows. I'm playing around, I got a white grub on here, a white glow grub. Um, white's been good for us out here. We're uh, in the top 10, temperature 53 degrees, speed eh, 1.5 to 2, something like that. We are at the South Shore Launch Facility. There are a ton of fish in this area, so we're going to grind here. I've been getting them up in the river arm, but fingers crossed we're going to be able to get them closer to the ramp today and spend more time fishing rather than time pedaling around trying to find fish. So, anywho, um, we'll see what happens. We've got some good stuff in the water. We sort of know what we're doing. We're ready to yell fish on, baby. Have you pulled any of your flies out here? I tried them last time, they didn't like them. You didn't like them? No. They were definitely, uh, definitely keying on the plastic stuff. There we go. Fish on. On the grub. We're doing it wrong, guys. Terry's supposed to be catching the fish, but I fish on a guide trip just to kind of experiment and see what's working and clearly that white grub, she's working. Not a huge fish. These fish are fighting like crazy though. The temperature's right, they're feeling feisty. And I think I'm going to keep this fish because I want to send Terry home with a limit of fish. Yeah, because I... Catch and release, my freezer's bare. I brought some of these to my dad last time and he was he was digging them. Yeah, I like to smoke them and dry them. Oh, well we ain't smoking that one. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's all, with smoking me, I'm out of here. So you, do you just fish uh, still water? Or you... So my theory on trout is the first interaction they have with your bait is the vibration. and. You know, even with the plastics, the vibration changes based on the shape of the bait. The bait. Then, they're, then they're looking at color. We know the depth. And I played with colors last time I was out here. I got a few on a light pink color, uh -huh. but white has been the very best That's color best. for us. Last last three trips. So. Is that because it shows up better? Or? Got me. No. They just like it. They've been liking it. It's weird too, because this place is full of uh, shad. shad. And I, I run a shad colored one, and they, don't. they ain't hitting it. Now, how much do you think this overcast? I, I think this actually helps us. Helps. I think it helps us. I, we have a, a front coming in. We have a little chop. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we got pretty pretty optimum conditions. So they're, they're less afraid of predators and conditions like this? Oh yeah, no, they're, and they're right up under the, there's fish swimming right around us right now. That's why, I mean, I'm, I, I'm glancing at the sonar occasionally, uh -huh. but mostly just to make sure we're in, in a realistic speed range. I know I'm not going to mark the fish that we're trying to catch. I was probably was probably down four feet on that bite. Okay. Which, and I think they feed up too, which I think that fish was probably probably six or eight feet deep and he saw it and came up to it. Yeah. All right. Terry's over there. He is hooked up. Fish is pulling him around in a circle. All right. Oh, <laughs> nice. I 
Ed is on a white trigger minnow. He's got him. All right, on the board. We got one. Right. Woohoo! <laughs> Come here, you. Okay. I'm gonna rip this gill out. Ow. Okay. You get in there, yes, sir. Oh boy. I got a good one. White, white one again, though. That's a big fish. go guys white trigger minnow nice rainbow awesome lake comanche Take one of these lead core rods. All right. I don't know what the difference is. Is that what you just caught those on? I got that one on your orange one. I was gonna say, I don't know if I need to try a different lure or what. They're just nothing. No, just try one of these rods. All right. I don't know if you want white or orange, your call. Um, you just caught another one on orange? Yeah. Let me try orange. I'll just give you this rod. I'll trade you. There's fish everywhere underneath this right now. Yeah. Another white on the white minnow again? Yeah. We'll put on a white one. Oh, what's a dry edge? I'd try a white one. Alright, well we'll go back to white. See what happens. I'll put you on a fresh white one. That's a chunk. Come up to this side. Okay. After I get you set up here, you take off. Just follow Drop. that shore down, down and then come back. Okay. I let that last one go. We got four in the bag. I know, I saw that. That's a nice fish. He sounded like a good fish. He was fine though. He came off the hook in the net. So right where the, it looks like a knot between the purple, or am, or am I not fishing far enough out? So you'll see a distinct change where it goes from black to purple. 
Okay. Okay, you want that that setting at the top of the water. Okay. So maybe I wasn't quite far enough out. Yeah, that'll put you down that'll put you down right at at our speeds. That'll put you down right at five, five feet. feet. Okay. You're gonna see him like like he's like he's got it. Uh-huh. Lay into the pedals. Oh, okay. Give him 15 seconds of pedals before you take it out of the holder. Okay. We'll take that sassy attitude out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Got one? I think so. Oh, good. Well, that answers that question. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. So make sure that your disc is about, you know, quarter, three eighths of an inch in front of the bait. The bait's nice and straight. That answers that question, though. Fish on. That one was playing with me. It's a big fish. It's a beautiful rainbow. It's a big old fish. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big chunky rainbow right there, guys. Hefty. Well, guys, we were about to call it a day here. We were almost back to the launch ramp. Successful day, wasn't a wide open bite. Um, definitely number one bait out here today. Again, it's been the number one bait for a while was that white trigger minnow. Um, other folks out there were having success on white trout tricks worms. Talked to one fellow that had a fish on a white fly out there. But the uh, bottom line is that it's it's all about soft plastics for us now on the, on, you know, the low end of the trolling speed. I imagine if you were out here pulling speedy shiners in a boat, you could do pretty well on speedy shiners, cover a bunch of ground. But for us, target speed today, anywhere from one five fish to about two miles an hour. I don't know how many fish we hooked. We hooked and lost quite a few fish. Um, but uh, my client today, Terry, he ended up with a limited trout, probably two and a half pounds or so, something like that. So mission accomplished on that, in, in that respect. Um, the bite should hold up out here at Comanche. The water quality is very good. It's very clear. Surface temperature, 53.7 right now. We got some rain coming in. Looks like we got a rainy week ahead, but uh, if you were looking to get your trout on and you were down, you know, somewhere in the Sacramento Valley, Comanche is a very viable place to go. Not a lot of traffic out here. Of course, we're out here during the week, but uh, not a lot of traffic out here. Tons of elbow room. Um, 
We fished the narrows a lot today, that was good for us, but we caught fish out in the main body too. So, once again, another successful day out on the water. I'll catch you next time on YouTube, and if you're looking for gear, you know where to go. Get on over to FHS Fishing, and uh, we'll hook you up with what you need. Everything from rods and reels, soft plastics, flies, spoons, and more. I'm Cal Kellogg, you have a wonderful day.